All right, to do the blanket stitch, um, we are just going to use the edge of our fabric. And we are only gonna go through the fabric once and we're gonna go from the back to the front. So I'm gonna hold it, I like to hold it, and I, um, I see a lot of kiddos that go back and forth. I like to hold it in my hand and keep it still. And then um, I sew with my right hand, so I go from left to right. So I go from the back to the front, and I'm gonna pretend that I have this imaginary line. If you'd like to draw an actual line about a quarter inch down, you can. And I'm gonna go from the back to the front, and then I'm gonna bring that around again working my way down that line, back to front. And then I'm gonna use my pointer finger, I'm gonna catch that loop, and I'm gonna take my needle, and I'm gonna go from front to back through the loop. And this first one, it's not going to give me a nice edge, it's just gonna give me a crooked edge, but essentially we're wanting an edge all along here. So I'm gonna go from back to front, catch the loop, a needle front to back. That's the big thing that kicks some kiddos. Okay, back to front. Through to the back and pull it. I'm not pulling it super tight because I want those stitches right there on the edge. That's what makes it the blanket edge. You see that right there on the edge? I'm gonna keep working my way down. Trying to keep my spacing consistent, back to front, catch the loop, pull it through. Then when you would get down to the end, you would, on your final one, you would just kind of tie your little finishing knot at the end. So you would go like this. I like to go like this. Tie a loop, use the needle to pull it through, and then bring that knot right on down and push it right there. And then that's gonna keep that nice and secure. So technically I would go all the way down to the corner or if you would need to continue around, you'd go from the corner and just keep going all the way around. Um, but that's how you do the blanket stitch.